Hi and welcome to a new video and today I want to explain you how does the ambient occlusion work. This is a graphic effect uh, that is connected with shadows. Basically, ambient occlusion attempts to approximate the way light radiates in the real life. Let's look at the example of the stairs at the right side. You can see that on the left image the shadow is dropped only by the rock. Normally on the edge of the stairs should be a shadow because the rock drops the shadow and the stairs are dropping the shadow also. So this surface over here should be darker. You can see with the ambient occlusion on we have exactly that effect. The edges of the stairs are more darker. Also look at the house. The house on the left side is like the light effect is everywhere the same. On the right side we have some places darker, some places brighter, because the ambient occlusion makes the shadow where it needs to be. So let's look now at the benchmark, so we will see more differences. And if you want to see in more details how the ambient occlusion works, I am sending you to the Wikipedia page, the link is in the description box. So right now let's look at the benchmark and I am off for now. Subscribe to my to my channel if you like my videos, I will have a lot more of them in the future. Right now I am preparing the Test Drive Unlimited 2 gameplay and later in the future I think I'm gonna add another Radeon 5870 so there will be another series of benchmarks. Yes, I know that the new series of graphics cards are out but they are pretty expensive, you know, and to buy used 5870 it's not very ex expensive right now and I will add some extra performance when I will if I would change the 5870, 5870 to 6970 the performance difference will not be so high as adding another radial 5870 so enjoy the benchmark and I'm off for now thank you for watching this video